on guys so for those of you that are wondering what the hell is going on with my desk uh, put it up on Instagram stories as well and got quite a few questions about it uh, basically that it, it's called a desk mate and it's literally 30 pounds it's like uh, basically this, this this folds up and you can basically cr like build a standing desk on top of your actual desk um, obviously I'll, I've been looking into standing desks for a while now and uh, like if you want a proper one that actually goes up automatically and comes back down etc they are very expensive plus like the wall is relatively low here so um, you know it wouldn't really be worth getting an actual standing desk um, didn't really fancy one that you have to like you roll up um, so this is for me this is like a perfect um, solution for it and it was very very cheap as well like 30 pounds and it's very, you know, literally like I can, I can fold that back up again within five seconds and I'm back to um, a seated desk. But anyway, that's not what the video is about. It's definitely not a sponsored video or anything like that. Um, I want to talk about niches uh, for social media marketing. Uh, what social media marketing niches are the best to start with in 2019? And I think... Because I'm, I understand now that you're hoping that I'm going to give you that golden nugget, the one niche that you need to start that is easy to get great results for and that you can start right away without prior experience, etc. And I'm going to tell you now that there is not one golden nugget niche, you know, not one niche that is the, the be all, end all, best uh, niche to choose this year. And any other video that says otherwise is wrong, okay? Because I think, in my opinion, the best niche is the one that you are one, most knowledgeable about, and two, have a passion for. So let's say for example, you are very big into fitness, and you know you know a lot about fitness, you know how people in the fitness industry talk, you know how they speak, you understand their language. It's much easier to get leads or get sales for a fitness related product or get leads for like a gym, than it is uh, for something that you're absolutely not knowledgeable about at all, for example, pianos. Okay, so you need to figure out for yourself what industry would you like to work with, would you like to get leads or sales for, what clients would you like to work with. Like, for me, I am a very big fan of working with e-commerce now, but I basically just rolled into that, you know, I figured it out um, as I went along. You know, I've got one um, e-commerce client, I think it was through Upwork at the time, realized that I could get great results for them. And then I thought, you know what, let's just actually go into e-com and, you know, try and get as many e-com clients as possible. Because basically how to get results for e-commerce is so, so easy. You drive traffic to the web page, you drive traffic to the website, you see what people do. So you see, you know, who abandons the cart, who clicks on products but doesn't purchase, and then just create a custom audience out of those people, retarget them with maybe like a 10 to 15% discount, and that is how you can get a great return on ad spend for your clients and get them a lot of sales, okay? It's not rocket science. But, you know, I when I, thought, when I first started out, I was, you know, I did not understand e-commerce. I didn't really know what it what it meant. I, I had no idea how to get results for web shops. And I basically started out just trying to get my first client regardless of what niche or industry was in. And I think that was also a great way to get started. You know, why turn away a client because it doesn't fit your um, ideal customer profile when starting out? You know, the first thing you need to do when starting out is get your first client, okay? And my first client was um, safety equipment. It wasn't even a web shop, it was like an uh, offline shop and they had a website for safety equipment and basically you needed to fill out a contact form on the website and they'll contact you and send over their catalogue and stuff like that. That was a very, very um, primitive way of doing it, but that was my first client. I think I charged them 600 a month for um, maintaining their website, so managing the the website and make sure the contact form is set up properly. Um, what else did I do? I've done social media management for them and I set up like very, very, very small, um, like low budget Facebook ads. But I, even though I've got nothing with safety equipment, you know, it's not something that I like to promote, anything like that. You know, it was a great first client. It was a great experience. Um, I enjoyed working with them, you know, because like for them, it was a startup as well. So they were happy that I was doing it for them. Um, I got a great testimonial, got a few referrals from them as well. And it was just a great way to get the very first clients in. So the best clients you can get when starting out is the first client you can get your hands on, okay? Don't turn away any clients, just take on any clients you can get. And then, you know, over time, you'll figure out with what niches and what industries you actually like to work with, okay? With that said, 
in my opinion, an easy client or an easy um, like Facebook ad type of client that you can get is a lead gen client. So a client or a company that wants leads. So not sales, no web shop sales, but leads, okay? So all you need to do is set up simple lead form ads, get them leads, for example, real estate um, in the Netherlands, um, driving instructors is a very, very good niche to work with as well. Why? Because lead gen ads are very, very easy to set up, okay? Then once you get a bit more experience, then you can look into web shops and do the, the abandoned cart retargeting, like I said. So just to wrap it all up here, the best industry is, in my opinion, the one you are most passionate about, the one you know the most about, so you speak their language, etc. Uh, when starting out, just take on any client you can. Uh, focus primarily on lead gen ads um, and or lead gen clients. And then once you get a bit more experience, you, look, you can look into web shops and doing the abandoned car retargeting and stuff like that. Okay, hope you got some out of this. If you want to know more about getting social media marketing clients, getting results for social media clients, I highly recommend you look into my course, Lifestyle Design Mastery. All you need to do is land one client and you've earned your money back and then you'll have that recurring and you'll have the knowledge forever. Okay, like the video if you got something out of it, comment down below what you'd like to see from my channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.